Welcome. I've always wanted to say welcome to my crib. Excited to have you guys with me today. It's going to be a fun day. Uh, a lot of action. We got some workouts with our guys this morning. I know you guys are coming with me in the car. So let's do it on my lock up here and then let's get going in the car. Taking this car actually, not that car. <laughs> At eight, we got Trey Jones for a workout. You know, he's uh, coming off his surgery and he's been really attacking his rehab and you know, he's looking great. We got him and then we got the team coming in at uh, 9 o'clock and we're breaking up for some skill work and individual work. We're getting a lot of spot shots today. Uh, we've gone hard for three days in a row, so we want to make sure we don't push it too hard today because uh, they've been working their butts off. They've been great. Maybe in the afternoon, maybe get one of the players. Maybe try to show you guys, you know, always love, you know, being able to compete with our guys in a shooting game. And if I win, we're definitely going to put it out there. So uh, we'll, we'll see who it is, but I, I'm excited about that too. All right, we're here. Time to get to work. Come on in. Just so you know, my chair is passed down from Chris Collins. We're keeping it alive. You get the lean back all the way. All right, time to go meet up with Trey. We're gonna go for about 30, 35 minutes today. Get in some good ball handling and get in some good shooting. Good, good, work at it, feel it, good. Good, machine gun shoulders. There you go. Good, good. Stop, pound it, pound it, stop. Trey is fun as it gets to work with. You know, he's obviously a guy who could have gone pro if he had wanted to. I know Trey has really big expectations. Uh, one, just there's more he wants to do in college, and then two, just of where he wants to go and being ready to make an impact right away in the next level. But he's a guy, you don't have to coach his motor. You know, his motor and his edge, it's there all the time. I wish everybody could see how every day he comes in before the team does in the morning, and we get a chance to work with him, and he gets after it. And he has gone better. He is healthy, he's more athletic. Watch out for Trey Jones this year. That's all I can say. Toes. Good, BJ, here we go. Good. Opposite. Head up, head up, whole time. Walk down. Shoulders. Toes. Stop. Here we go. Feeling it all? Feeling it? Nah. Nope. He's feeling it. Good. Right high, left low. Right high, left low. Good, switch. Walk with it, walk with it. <laughs> yeah, stop. Together, together. Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, head up. It's a rule, you have to make it if you shoot it. I can tell you if it's going in. Two. So we got, we got, we got two. <laughs> hey, yeah, ah. The summer uh, really is about guys individually getting better. And even for us as coaches, it gives us a chance to, to get to know the guys. And so, you know, for the four new freshmen, for example, how do all the guys like to learn? How can they, uh, what buttons can you push? You know, getting to know them on a daily basis where you get to know, all right, you know, Matt Hurt, or, okay, Matt, he likes to be on this block a little bit more. Or, you know, I didn't realize Matt could do this as well. Or, you know, and I'm using him as an example, but for all the guys, you're getting to know them on a much more personal level. So that part of the summer is fun. I, I think the great the great part about you know doing what I do and doing what all of us do as coaches is you get to be around the game you love and you get to see guys grow in the game. And so the summertime, that's really from beginning to end, you know, we talk to our guys about making big time strides. The brotherhood in the summer really comes out because, you know, we just had three guys draft in the top 10. All three guys have been back this summer. Zion's been back recently, Cam, RJ. And so the fact that they feel this comfortable to come back here and, you know, they think of this place at ho as home uh, is, is special. Obviously they're, you know, great friends with the guys that are still on the team. Uh, so love seeing them get back here and, and visit with us here. So my dad, worked in the picture frame company for a long time. So I've always been 
really into pictures and uh, ever since a young age. And so one of the things I've built out um, uh, in my office, you know, I have a lot of great pictures in here and it's not just of me. And so I know some of my friends would say I have too many of myself, but first of all, I have some more to add, just so we're clear. So from the last couple of seasons, I need to add some more up here. And, but if you see up on this wall, you know, uh, you have Matt Jones and Emil Jefferson and these two guys, they were the, my first four years here, they were the two guys here for the first four years. Ultimate winners, you know, I got my two Chicago guys. I got Jabari, I got Jalil, you know, even though, even though Jalil's from Rosemont, you know, Jabari's really from Chicago, obviously everyone knows I'm from Northbrook, not Chicago, but it still counts. So me and, me and Jaha still count, okay? You know, me and Nolan, right after we won the national championship, you know, the St. Louis guy, you know, it's like the, you know, baby brother version of Chicago. I had to get him up here. Obviously, that's one of the great moments in Duke basketball. And then the 2015 group, it's just a special picture. We had one of coach, Coach's big wins up in the garden at St. John's. And so, if you come over, just have some, you know, playing shots, you know, throughout my time uh, at Duke and some of the special moments. Senior class. Eric Skeffington was a manager, Jordan Davidson, Steve Johnson, Lance Thomas, Brian Zubek, and then, you know, we always think of Gerald Henderson, you know, in that group as well. Like, we went through a lot together, and, you know, right there is, you know, it's a special picture with, with G. That's when he's still at hair. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to take you over to this ball. This is my senior year. Goodfellas, I, I would arguably say it's a top three poster ever, you can ask. Mrs. K or Debbie about that, but I think it's one of the best team posters to come to come through. That's my tip dunk. And then Astrid, no, I'm just kidding. I didn't, I didn't dunk it, but I but I could have. So that's uh, one of the moments. Miles Plumley actually, the uh, the clock was running down. He threw it up, and I was able to tip it in. So I have to have that up there so people think I can jump a little bit. And just some other cool pictures. You know, our coaching staff we won in 2015. Me. And gee, this is when we played in Maryland, and uh, the fans were getting on us a lot, and especially me in particular. And gee, just gave him a big thumbs up as, as we were winning and walking off the court. You talking about the brotherhood? This is one of the special pictures right here. Obviously, you look at the guys. This is a few summers ago at uh, USA training camp, and you know I don't even need to mention the guys. You can, it's, I think it speaks for itself. And this is a cool picture. Uh, when we were uh, in Maui my sophomore year, there's a video game tournament. Uh, and Maurice Acker I'm playing against, he's a really good guard from Chicago, from Marquette. And you can tell by everybody's faces who's winning in that picture. You can tell, right? You can see if you look at my teammates and their reaction, I beat them pretty good. Anyway, hopefully you guys can come back at some point. I'm going to keep building it out. But just want to share you know, some of the pictures I have up here. So Jav and I are about to play some horse. Throughout his, well, three and a half years here, we've always had some, played some shooting games, <laughs> free throw games, but horse is his favorite. So I think because of him, we're going to play horse today. So you ready to go? He's capping. Horse is my least favorite. He knows he's going to win. He does all kinds of crazy nonsense. But we're here for it. Let's go. Can't wait. Here we go. <laughs> no, no, no. no dunking. Can, That's the rule. Yeah, no I dunking. Dunk, if I can dunk it, he wraps. He got no bounds. <laughs> all right, girl, here we go. Coach Shire's way of humbling anyone, whoever starts talking. He did. It was not. But <laughs> we're here for it. How about just one game to five shooting? Okay, yeah. All right, one game to five. All right, zero. One. Two. Three. three. Missed it again. Five. All right. I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> Yo, we're out of here, Bullshit. He got his dub. It was a good day today. I mean, you know, our guys got better. And, you know, one of the fun things is just in interacting with them. You can tell we have good guys, you know. They're just, you know, fun to be around, competitive. They work hard. Uh, so it was a good day, you know. Hello? Where's my baby? Hey, 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 on. Hey, you. <laughs> hey, wow. Okay. So, this is obviously the best part of my day right here. 
<laughs> and there we go. Thanks for spending the day with us today. It was a lot of fun. Hopefully you got a good idea for what a day in the life is for a coach. And uh, now we gotta hang out. So you guys gotta go. Can we bye bye? <laughs>